Orthographic projection. In this video, we will understand how to draw the orthographic projection using a simple example. This is the object for which we need to draw the orthographic projection. Instructions are as follows. Draw the following views for the given isometric view. Front view looking from the X direction. Top view and side view. The given view of the object is called the isometric view. Here, we can see the object drawn in a three-dimensional view. By looking at this view, we have to draw a two-dimensional view of the object. Before drawing, we need to draw the reference lines. Since there are no instructions given for whether to draw using the first angle or third angle method, we will draw the orthographic view using the first angle method. Let's recap how the object is visualized in the first angle method. In the first angle method, we consider the object to be placed in the first quadrant like this, and the viewer is viewing the object from this direction. When the object is viewed from this direction, the front view will be like this. When the viewer views the object from the top, it will look like this. Now for the side views, we consider two reference planes placed like this. When the viewer views the object from the left side direction, the side view will be like this. And when the viewer views from the right side, the right side view will be projected like this on the reference plane. Now, to represent this in two-dimensional view, we rotate the horizontal axis in a clockwise direction, and also we unfold the reference planes. This is how the object is represented in the first angle method. According to the first angle method, the front view of the given object should be above the reference line, the top view should be below the reference line, the left side view should be on the right side of the front view, and the right side view should be on the left side of the front view. With this basic understanding, we can proceed to draw the orthographic views of this given isometric figure. Let's start drawing. Before drawing, we will keep a 10 mm space from the vertical and horizontal axes. Here, we will draw a front view above the reference line. After that, we will draw the top view below the reference line, and in the end, we will draw the left side view on the right side of the figure by projecting the projection lines from the drawn front and top views. When we view this figure from this direction, the front view will look like this. The width of this figure is 80 mm, and the height is 80 mm. This width is 40 mm, and this height is 40 mm. Therefore, this height will be 40 mm, and this width will also be 40 mm. This dotted line represents the hidden slot, which is not visible from the front view, and the distance of this dotted line from the side will be equal to the depth of the slot, which is 20 mm. With this figure, we can draw the front view. Take a drafter, draw a horizontal line of 80 mm as shown. Next, draw a vertical line of 80 mm. After this, draw a 40 mm vertical line from this point. Next, draw a 40 mm horizontal line as shown. After this, draw another set of 40 mm horizontal and vertical lines as shown. We have almost completed the front view. The only part left to draw is the hidden slot, which is not visible in the complete front view. We will represent this slot with a dotted line. Mark a point at a distance of 20 mm from the side as shown. And after this, draw a vertical dotted line. In the end, do the dimensioning. With this, we complete the front view of the given figure. Next, we will draw the top view. To do so, we will project the lines from the front view as shown. These lines will help us in drawing the top view. When we view this figure from the top view, it will look like this. I will highlight the visible sides in the top view, in the isometric view. The length and width of this will be 80 mm, the width of this portion will be 40 mm, and this slot will be 40 mm in length and 20 mm in width. And the distance of the slot will be 20 mm from the top, since the slot is exactly in the middle of this portion. Grab a drafter and construct the outline of the top view. Draw a horizontal line of 80 mm. Draw a vertical line of 80 mm. And finally, draw another horizontal line of 80 mm. 
This will be the basic outline of the top view. After this, we can see the top and the bottom portions. When we see it from the top view, we can see a vertical line separating them. Therefore, draw a vertical line passing through this outline exactly in the middle. In the end, we need to show this slot in the left portion. The distance of the slot is 20 mm from the top and the width is 40 mm. Therefore, draw horizontal lines of 20 mm at a distance of 20 mm from the top and the bottom sides. After that, draw the vertical line of 40 mm in length. This completes the top view of the given figure. Next, we will draw the side view. To do so, we will first draw a line inclined at 45 degrees from the origin as shown. This line will help us in projecting the projection lines from the top view. Now, project the horizontal lines from the top view up to this inclined line. After this, project these lines vertically upward as shown. Next, project the horizontal lines from the front view as shown. The intersection of projection lines from the front and the top view will help us in drawing the side view of the given figure. When we view this figure from the left side, it will look like this. Let's construct the side view. Draw a rectangle of 40 mm in length and 80 mm in width as shown. This rectangle represents the raised portion of the figure. Next, we need to draw the bottom portion with a slot. The length and width of this portion are also 40 mm and 80 mm respectively. Therefore, draw another rectangle of 40 mm in length and 80 mm in width as shown. This rectangle represents the bottom portion which has the slot. In the end, we need to draw the slot, which is 40 mm in width and exactly in the middle. This is represented by these projection lines. Therefore, draw the vertical lines of 40 mm on the bottom portion as shown. This completes the slot. This completes the orthographic views of the given isometric figure. I hope this video helped you understand how to draw the orthographic view of the given isometric view. If you like the video, click on the like button, and if you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button to get all my latest videos.